Hello guys here, welcome back to another Pokemon Essentials video and today we're going to be working on the Punica Forest and originally I wanted to have both Punica Forests separated but I decided to connect both of them so I put both of the maps that I did all together and I've adjusted it a bit, uh, put in some lakes, some actual nature around it and I wanted to make it seem like you're going up the mountain just a little bit so I put a little bit extra um, emphasis on the mountain. Uh, during the process of actually combining both maps I've accidentally deleted the Punica cave so I'm gonna have to do that from scratch uh, in a different video but at least I'll be able to work from it from scratch because I did want to work on that again I wasn't very satisfied with that one because due to the fact of the low amount of tiles that I had for that but I'm glad to be working on that one again now here we are with what I have so far I I didn't really uh, do as much change to a lot of the stuff I didn't move around I had to redo some things I went back and forth but at the end of the day it's gonna look great so I'll see you guys whenever um, it is complete
and I really like how it turned out uh, I've actually went to the editor and I've changed the actual water color so I do have both the ocean one and a good one for the lake so at the end of the day it turned out pretty well I have some extra shrubs here bushes uh, these are going to be special bushes but you guys will see that uh, in game whenever I start doing events and stuff uh, as, and, and as I told you guys you know due to the fact that I accidentally deleted the Punica cave I'm going to have to redo that and at least it gives me a chance to actually work around with I changed not much in this area I did add this because I felt like it was congested like I said last time it, this area seems congested but it did seem like a good area to put an event somehow um, kind of like in gen 3 when you had the straight path and then you have the team magma or team apple grunt in the way uh, so that might be a really cool thing to do as well in this area um, but essentially I wanted to have something more than just trees everywhere so I have an, a lake right here a little pond lake here and right here I have a secret grotto that you'll be able to go after you beat a certain badge uh, this tree here is gonna have some significant um, uh, mark right here to it so events pro possibly here I don't know but I really wanted to add something besides just regular trees. I did add some little tinier trees out in the open right here instead of just having them up here where you can see them. But overall, I think I've done much better in this one. I'm actually much happier with this one than I am with the other one. Uh, the other one was good, but I think with this it really does complete the whole uh, forest vibe that I wanted to go with. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of the new change that I did. I am actually really proud of this one and really excited to work on the next map. Uh, update the next map or work on the new map so uh, let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see next um, or what I could update on this map right here if you guys have any ideas of what I could add but uh, thank you guys for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Essentials video on the Punica Forest remake and uh, we'll see you guys next time see ya